2016 Ford F-150 Platinum. Now they see a bunch of technical <laughs> collision warning. <laughs> wow, that's a first. That's actually one, uh, or the F-150 is actually, if I'm not mistaken, it was the first truck in its class that actually has the collision warning available. Now, they call the F-150 the businessman's truck. And I can understand why. Maybe not just with an XLT, but with a platinum trim level, I can definitely agree with that statement, as this truck has everything that you might need. When it comes to being a pure truck, and you need the power, you need the torque, you need the towing capability, you need the hauling capabilities, this truck has it. And if you want to ride in style and have all the luxury features that is available um, for a luxury vehicle nowadays, the F-150 Platinum has it. What we're going to do today is, as always, do a full in-depth uh, review and tour of this vehicle here. We're going to check out the exterior and also this beautiful, beautiful interior. First off, we're just going to take it for a drive here and get a feel for it. As many of you know, I do own a uh, 2015 F-150 myself, um, although that is an XLT. It doesn't have all these luxury amenities that this Platinum has. The truck that I have has the same engine, and this is by far my favorite engine out of the F-150 lineup. It is the 5.0 or the 5 liter V8. 385 horsepower and 387 pound-feet of torque. Now, I love the the three and a half liter EcoBoost, the 2.7 EcoBoost as well. But there, there's just something about pure, you know, displacement. There's no replacement for displacement, and the sound from this V8 is amazing. I love it. You don't get this from the EcoBoost, although the EcoBoost does sound pretty good. Because uh, now, nowadays with sound enhancements and that kind of thing, you, you hear it from the speakers, it still sounds good. But this, you know, they don't really, you know that they don't have to mess around with the V8. A V8 is always going to sound good. And this truck definitely sounds good. It's powerful. Um, three and a half liter EcoBoost, slightly quicker. If you want to see, you know, zero to 60 times and that kind of thing. And I actually have a separate video where I did a comparison between the two engines. You can check that out. I have a, a link that will pop up on your screen if you're interested in, in seeing more of the performance of these two engines. Now, but back to the 5.0 V8. That's the reason why it's my favorite engine, because of the way it sounds. It's pure, it's raw, it's a V8. I love it. Now, with the, the Platinum F-150, we're going to go into this more uh, in a minute here when we do more of the tour of the vehicle. Um, it has, as I mentioned, every feature available. It's heated, it's cooled seats, it's got the navigation, the new SYNC 3 infotainment system, it has lane keeping system, it has adaptive cruise control, it has power deploying running boards, it has power folding mirrors, I mean just everything. It has ambient lighting I mean what else a big panoramic moonroof it's just I mean what what else do you need in a, in a luxury vehicle excellent Bluetooth capabilities you can tell the truck or the vehicle uh, to do basically anything change the radio station you know fan speed all kinds of stuff so what I'm gonna do here is straight here we're gonna take a listen to this engine once again vehicle so with no 
further ado, I will park the truck here and then we're going to do a full in-depth tour of the 2016 Ford F-150 Platinum. And you can see for yourself why they call it the businessman's truck. So here it is, the 2016 Ford F-150 Platinum. The one that we're checking out today is in the color Ingot Silver. It is just a absolutely stunning truck. I think it looks very good in this color. First thing we're going to take a look at here are the wheels. They're 20 inch wheels, six spoke wheels. And they're sitting on 275-55 diameter tires. Being a platinum, you obviously have the platinum badging. Pro mirrors. We have turn signal in the mirror. As we will take a look at in a minute here, it has power deploying running boards that come out automatically when you open the door. So right now it looks like it does not have running boards, although it does. This is a crew cab, 145 wheelbase with the five and a half foot bed. Now as we move along to the rear face of the truck here, beautiful platinum badging on the tailgate. And while we're back here, we'll take a look at that right away. The Platinum F-150 comes with a power release tailgate. Just by clicking the button right there, double clicking, the tailgate automatically comes down. Now this F-150 has the tailgate step as well. Very easy, very easy to maneuver. Just hit the button in the middle. The tailgate comes out, and you have a stabilizer arm as well, making it easy to climb up into the bed of the truck. Now the rear taillights are LED. nice look and at night they look even better there a tow hitch right there this is the key for the spare We also have a power sliding rear window. Capless fuel tank as all Fords. Talked about this in millions of other reviews here, but you don't have a cap, you just stick the nozzle in there. Never have to worry about check engine light for loose gas cap or stinky smelly gas fingers and all that junk so just a very convenient feature led lighting in the truck or <laughs> in the bed i should say Let's see if i can show you guys here led lights right there turn it on by a click of a button it's very nice at night you're loading stuff into your bed. If 
we take a look at the front fascia of the truck here. Absolutely gorgeous in my opinion. With the LED daytime running lights and the HID headlights. Look even better at night. front camera sitting right there and the grill of this truck is just amazing looking it is unique to the uh, platinum trim level of the F-150 I apologize for all the road noise around me here I hope you can hear me fine <laughs> This truck is just absolutely gorgeous. Now, before we jump into the truck here, I'm gonna, we're gonna take a look at the key fob that you get with the Platinum F-150. Also available for the Lariat and the other trim levels above the Lariat. So it is a smart key access fob with lock button, unlock, remote start, and as I showed you already, the remote tailgate release right there, and then a panic button. Obviously, it has remote start. Shut it off by clicking once. And with no further ado, I think we should jump inside the truck and take a look at this gorgeous interior. So as we open the door, you can see the power deploying running boards come down. And then when you close the door, they automatically go up. So as we take a look at the door here, this part where you rest your arm is very soft. Here, a little harder surface. They have this ni nice wood grain right there. The actual door handle. You can actually keep stuff right here by the door handle. You have memory seats, three different positions lock bu unlock button and lock button. Then you have your Power windows automatic down automatic up and then your side mirror controls right here so take a look here you have obviously power seats and then here we're gonna take a look at this shortly here but this is for your uh, massaging seats now this truck is brand new but still it's dirty <laughs> but I hope you guys this, this is still in plastic here, but I hope you guys can see the platinum sill plate. Very nice look. And then this interior, it's black ebony leather, just amazing looking. You have your platinum badge here. It's actually in plastic as well. Just very nice contrast stitching. And as I mentioned, they are extremely comfortable. So you can hear the running boards go up there. Let's start her up. Push button start. Okay, so this being a Platinum, there's a lot of features and buttons to uh, shut this fuel light off there. There's <clears throat> a lot of features to take a look at here, but we'll, uh, we'll start over here on the center stack this time. So this being a 2016, it comes with the uh, brand new infotainment system, which is Sync 3. 
I have a separate review of this system here um, that I'm going to provide. It's a uh, separate video if you're interested in learning more about the infotainment system. But we're going to take a quick look at it here. Just so you guys see, you have your menu bar down here that's always accessible no matter where you are on the touchscreen. So you have your climate, or audio, I'm sorry, climate, your phone, navigation, your apps, where you can add several apps like Pandora and that kind of thing. And then you have your settings tab right here. Now the touchscreen is a swipe and pinch type feature, like just like a smart tablet. And what I wanted to show you here is when you go to the settings tab, that's where you have your multi-contour seats. This feature is really amazing, and it's it's nice for for longer drives. Um, basically, where you can set massage for seats it's just a, an amazing feature has to be uh, experienced that's all I can say <laughs> especially this bottom part it's kind of weird when it starts massaging your ass but it is what it is I turn it off for now it actually makes a lot of noise too It's turning off there and then another thing that we're going to take a look at here that is pretty specific to this truck not specific to this truck but specific to uh, the higher trim levels of the f-150s so we're going to go back there and this truck also comes with ambient lighting where you can choose different colors uh, that light up all around the truck it lights down lights up uh, on your feet in the door handles and also here in the cup holders now it is daylight so you can't really see the different colors um, but as you can see here I shot a video at night where you can uh, change the different colors and you can see here on the cup holder how it lights up you have blue purple red all kinds of colors so it's just a very nice feature um, and if you ever you know, drop your keys at night um, down here on the floor easily pick them up it's not completely pitch black it's just a very nice feature as we move along here being a uh, top-the-line trim you get the console shifter which is just very nice uh, versus having it here on the on the column I prefer that this is available for the XLTs as well but you have to get the sport package to get it so we have a six-speed automatic put it in reverse displays the backup camera and the 360 camera which is very nice if you take a look here you see the car to the right of me here it's right there so as we back up here slowly it's basically a 360 camera, which is very nice. Then you have your regular backup camera here. Put it back in park. And then we'll, while we're at it, we'll check out the 360 camera. This Platinum F-150 has a front camera. Hit it once and you see right ahead of you there. Nice feature for backing or not backing, but pulling out of a tight parking spot or um, heavy traffic road so while you're in slow at slow speed you can uh, you can have this on now it'll uh, disengage at around five miles an hour so you have right there hit it once more the whole 8 inch screen is the front camera no 360 view really right there hit it once more again you have a panoramic view so just a very nice feature Then as we move down here, you have your shift on the fly. You have a two high, you have a four automatic, basically all wheel drive, four high and four low. And then if you pull it out, you engage the uh, locking diff. And then 
below the touch screen here, you have your volume controls. Very nice stereo system. It's a 390 watt Sony stereo system. <laughs> Don't know if that's everybody's favorite music, but it is a, uh, it is a very good system. You have your heated or your air conditioned seats right there, heated seats, fan speed, fan speed right there, and so on. Now new for this year, and I went over this in my XLT review that I did uh, just a month back. For those of you who checked that out already, this uh, F-150 comes with a trailer backup assist. So basically what this enables you to do is when you have a trailer hooked up to the truck, you can um, control the trailer, so to speak, and turn it by using this knob right here. It is available below five miles an hour. And basically you don't have to use the steering wheel to maneuver your trailer. You can use it, this button instead. Also a very nice feature. We move up here on the dashboard. Actually pretty soft. Good looking if, if anything. We have a cubby holder up top there. And as we move along to the instrument cluster here, you have the eight inch productivity screen between the uh, tachometer and the speedometer. So we're gonna go through that real quick as well. Now, this screen is controlled by the buttons on the left side of the steering wheel. So as you click left, get out to the main menu here. Now, what you have here is a My View tab. <clears throat> Excuse me. And what that enables you to do is to uh, have a tab where you have your favorite features that you use the most. You can put them in this My View tab. So obviously a lot of people like to check out their fuel economy and if you're you know, towing a lot or going a lot off-road, you can have that there. And this uh, feature here will allow you to configure your My View settings. And as we click right, you have your trip meters. Resetting that right now. Two trip meters, that is fuel history. Navigation truck info, tire pressure, a digital speedometer, always a nice feature, engine information, you have your oil life right there, tire pressure, and so on. There's so many features on this F-150. I'm going to go scroll through them here quickly. Towing status, towing information, trailer light status, trailer setup, connection checklist, off-road status, power distribution. And then you have different settings here. If you want to turn off the lane keeping system, the cruise control, or just mess around with the settings, basically. I don't know why you would want to turn this off, but an automatic high beam, that is an amazing feature. When you're driving at night, your high beams will come on automatically. And as soon as it detects a vehicle ahead of you, it just turns your high beams off. That's just a very nice feature. Now this truck has blind spot information system. It comes, I'll show you here. There's a light that comes on right there. That light will come on whenever someone's in your blind spot. Just letting you know that don't switch lanes whenever someone's in your blind spot. Self-explanatory, you have cross traffic alert, driver alert, rear park gate, and then collision warning that I uh, bumped into right in the beginning of the video when I was pulling out. Um, red light will come up here on the windshield. If you're approaching a vehicle in, uh, in front of you at too high of a speed, the, the truck will let you know that you should slow down. And if you don't slow down uh, in time, the truck will brake for you. Now the steering wheel itself, a nice touch. It's a nice looking steering wheel, nice feel. 
has a heated steering wheel as an option very nice i have that on my car as well just nice in the winter time currently we are having an amazing so-called winter in pittsburgh we haven't had snow yet today it is as you can see here 55 degrees and it is december 10th so it's just having nice weather here haven't really had to deal with a horrible winter like we usually get up here as we move along here as i mentioned that the productivity screen is controlled by the buttons on the left side of the steering wheel and then this truck is equipped with adaptive cruise control you have the settings right there moving on to the right you have your volume buttons please say a command serious frank sinatra tuning to frank sinatra Voice commands uh, with the Sync 3 infotainment system are amazing. You have over a thousand of them. You can pretty much tell the tell the vehicle to do anything uh, that you need it to do. So you never have to take your hands off the wheel. I know I mentioned that on the test drive here, but it just is a very good system. And the voice activation button is right there. You have a mute button and then to answer your phone. As we move along here, open that up. You have a cubby down there, two USB ports, a 12 volt. Close it by just pushing here. You have your lane keeping assist button right there, where you can disengage it or engage it by just the uh, Click of a button now by default it turns on every time that you start the truck up basically what that does is it keeps the uh, truck in lane um, if you're trying to switch lanes driving above 40 miles an hour without using your turn signal you'll feel a vibration in the steering wheel just letting you know that you might be gearing out of lane i guess mainly that feature is for people that have a tendency to fall asleep at the wheel but anyhow you can <laughs> turn it off by the click of a button as we take a look at the armrest here or the, the middle console open that up plenty of space here remove this you keep a lot of stuff in there Pen holders as well. And down here we have cubbies here on the side as well. So I can show you this in a better angle. It's just a lot of storage in this truck. Very nice. And then moving along back here, two cup holders mainly for the rear passengers, although they have that middle armrest that can fold down and there's cup holders there as well. Then we have the panoramic moonroof. Start the truck back up here. Hopefully you guys can see that. Navigate through with the, the moonroof with uh, these buttons right here. That's for the shade and here you open the roof So we're gonna click this one here Shade closes Halfway and then you give it another click and it goes all the way up here. We're gonna open it I'm actually going to close that now. Maybe we get some better lighting. I should have thought of that from the beginning, but. <laughs> All right. So 
now that's closed. Yeah, the sun's still seeping in here. So what we're gonna do is jump out here and take a look at the second row and all the room that you have there. Whoops. Lock it here. Cubbies, cup holders, and what we have here is, I wanted to show you, it's an inflatable seat belt, very nice feature as well, in a heavy impact, the seat belt will inflate, and basically what that does is that it spreads the impact on your body versus just having a small portion of your body take the full impact, so it's kind of like a... a like an airbag, I would, I would say. And then here, fold that down, and uh, I was mistaken. There's no cup holders right there. They are right there. Sorry about that. Okay, so we're gonna check out the leg room for the second row and passengers sitting back here now for any passenger in a crew cab f-150 most people know that they have amazing amounts of uh, leg room and space in general um, I am six foot two that was my driving position and you see the amount of leg room that I that I have so for any passenger uh, you have great comfort uh, for longer trips um, you have heated seats for the second row here. You also have an AC outlet, full power plug, and also a 12 volt. So I wouldn't mind being a passenger in a crew cab F-150, whether it's a, a Platinum or an XLT or anything like that, but preferably in a Platinum like this with the uh, much nicer interior. Headroom as well. As you can see plenty of headroom it's just very comfortable back here now if you fold the seat up plenty of cargo space if you ever need that for the second row if you're not utilizing it with passengers and the f-150 is the only truck in its class that has a completely flat loading floor so there's no bump in the middle you can uh, basically sleep back here if it came down to it okay guys let me know what you think of the 2016 ford f-150 platinum i absolutely love this truck as i'm sure that you could tell but let me know what you think in the comment section below and if this is your first time checking out the channel please browse it and if you like it hit that subscribe button and i'll see you next time bye bye